AKA Mr. Changing Lives. Get him on. Get him on. Um, the topic that I want to share with you guys today is chase your passion, not your pension. There's something that you were meant to do that no one else can do. There's a space that you were meant to fill that no one else can fill. Talent is God's gift to you. Using it is your gift back to him. A lot of times we limit ourselves by um, not fully following our dreams because following our talents because we believe oh there's no money in this field I'm not going to be able to make it but in order to be truly successful you have to be happy about what you're doing a lot of people there's a lot of people working now uh, nine to fives or whatever their whatever their careers is and they're not happy what they're doing they could be getting paid hundreds thousands of dollars but if they're not happy at what they're doing they're, they're never going to be happy and they're never going to be successful you have to be six in order to be successful you have to be happy at what you're doing what's your once your vocation becomes your vacation you reach the pinnacle in life there's something that you were born to do it's inside you this is the reason that you're here. This is a destiny that you have to fulfill. And once you figure that out, once you figure out what your destiny is, what, what your purpose is, what your talent is, what you love to do, it's your job to perfect it. It's your job to hone it. It's your job to read whatever book you got to read, go to whatever event, surround yourself with people who are currently doing it so that you can become better. And then once you begin to do that, you got you got to work at yourself and become the best that you want to be. A lot of people, um, they aim low, or better yet, <laughs> even worse, they aim at nothing. And when you aim at nothing, you are sure to hit it every single time. So you got to dream big. It takes the same amount of energy to dream small as it does to dream big. And then once you continue to work at yourself and uh, dream big, you automatically inspire other people's other people to do the same if not better i mean maya angela wouldn't be as great as she was if her poetry didn't inspire others to write and express their feelings on a piece of paper beyonce wouldn't be as great as she was if her music and her artistry did not inspire other artists to um wanna you know perform and do music on a grander scale michael jordan wouldn't be as great as he is if it didn't inspire other you know, people who wanted, who had that talent to be, you know, to play basketball, to be like him, or even better, be better like him. I mean, be better than him, excuse me. So you have to make a decision and decide what is it that you want to do. Forget what your parents want you to do. What, you're supposed, what is it that you want to do? There's something that you want to do that you were born to do. Once you find that out, that's like a life-changing decision. Once you find it out and you make a decision that this is what I'm going to do, I'm telling you, your talent will open doors where you thought there were only walls. Well, make that decision. And the question I'm going to leave with you guys today is what would you do for free if you weren't receiving a check? And most of y'all, you're already doing it. But for the simple fact that you don't believe that you receive a check for it right then and there, you're not following it. But I'm telling you, put the money aside. The money will come. But if you're not happy at what you're doing, then you're never truly successful. So that's the message that I just had to get out to you guys. So remember, a person doesn't die when he or she reaches the grave. They die when their dreams do. So we out of here. It's your boy Gene, a.k.a. Mr. Changing Lives. Chase your passion, not your pensions. We out.